All right. Hi, my name is Chris Lee. I'm 29 years old. I'm an Asian assistant at Innovative Artist, and I am doing this audition video because I am buying a condo right here. I have my broker, RJ Cass. Hello, I'm RJ Cass with Coldwell Banker in Beverly Hills. I met Chris through my wife, who is actually at the gym and had met Chris. And being the great wife she is, she was promoting my business. <laughs> and uh, had met Chris, they started talking, and you know, it's a great buyer's market. Uh, this down market for sellers, unfortunately, is a great time for buyers. And being that Chris is a first time buyer, I mean, there are plenty of opportunities for him. So we're really, you know, letting him know if the if he's gonna buy the time is now not to wait right yeah that's what he said when I first met him he said I should have bought yesterday <laughs> absolutely um, and again you know Chris is a young guy he's getting his first home and at this price point being in you know greater Los Angeles area where he's looking uh, initially he wanted to be in West Hollywood that's one of the most uh, sought-after neighborhoods in LA and for condos, it's one of the most priciest price per square foot there is in Los Angeles. So we looked at his budget, which is it was around one fifty to two hundred thousand. So we took that, said, okay, you know, there are going to be some opportunities out there, which we did find a few in West Hollywood, but we were basically limited to studios, um, singles, very small units. Uh, anything that would have been, you know, more to his liking and lifestyle took us beyond that price point. But there were a couple studios, just a little small, but great locations. They were out there. But again, for what he's looking for, not only for himself now, but as a future investment, we decided to kind of branch out, see what else was out there, yes. stay within maybe a five mile radius, but, uh, you know, explore our options. So from there, we kind of branched out. We went over to Hollywood, um, kind of looked at what was in the Miracle Mile area and that thing really popped up there. But Hollywood, a few things turned up. Um, the outskirts of Hollywood, kind of the Koreatown, uh, Little Armenia area, those areas, a, a couple things popped up. But again, desirability, that's, that's another story. Um, one of the turnoffs, actually one of the places we drove by. Chris. Yeah, um, we saw a place in Koreatown where there were multiple cops outside, didn't seem like it was a safe area, so we didn't even bother looking at it, we just kept on driving. Yes, <laughs> so, you know, from there, um, you know, we said, hey, we know the price points there, there are a number of properties that have popped up, so we continued our search, and from the west side of Los Angeles, kind of branched up into the Hollywood Hills and going into the valley, and actually we saw a couple really nice places in the Hollywood Hills, but by the time we got around to them, so did everybody else. Um, multiple offers, again, in this price range, uh, you've got a lot of buyers. So the competition is out there. Um, you know, there aren't too many properties that are in the 200,000 range or less. And those that are and that are quality properties have a lot of buyers. So, you know, that was something we really had to navigate and work around. But fortunately for us, there were quite a few choices or fixer uppers. Remember we saw one that had smoke on the ceiling, it looked like there was a fire inside. Absolutely. <laughs> um, some of them, you know, minor damage. I mean, all of them took some work. Um, very few were just moving condition. Uh, there would have been some expense to get them up to par. And keep in mind, a lot of these properties were foreclosures or short sales. Very few of them were just a traditional seller selling the property. Um, we were basically dealing with banks or asset managers that, to buy the property. Um, or and there were a couple actual co-ops. So again, co-ops didn't work for us because those require special financing. But uh, we took our hunt elsewhere, ended up in the valley, looked in Studio City, North Hollywood, Toluca Lake, and ended up finding a great two-bedroom, one-bath. Uh, in a great complex, not too far from the North Hollywood Arts District, very popular neighborhood, um, at the 180 range. Right. Yeah, yeah, it was really, it was a really good property. Um, we got to the point where 
the seller actually took our offer, our loan. We were close to closing. We went through the whole escrow process. I even hired a home inspector. And during that time, I asked RJ, things are looking smooth. When do you think I can move in? At that time, he told me, we're going to close on the 27th of September, and I can move in as early as the 1st of October. I said, great. I'm going to go tell my landlord that I'm going to move out of my apartment so that way I don't have to pay rent and a mortgage. He said, yep, you should do that. Two weeks into uh, closing, I get this text message from RJ to give him a call. And the news from his lender, who from the time we started this, told us she ran the numbers, she ran the address, um, they could do a loan in this property. She comes back and says, oh, there was a mistake and the property is not VA approved. What does that mean? Basically, uh, the whole condo project has to be reviewed before the VA will give a loan here, which we were already told the property was qualified. So in order to do that, the process takes a minimum of 60 days. And during that time, I already told my landlord that I was gonna move out. So I quickly turned around, gave him a call, told him I'm not gonna move out by the first because the condo's not ready. He then tells me, I'm sorry, Chris, but I have already rented out your unit. I asked him, well, can the renter just get another unit? And he said no, because he likes my specific unit. I asked, can I stay in another unit? They said no, because I have to sign another lease, which didn't make sense because in 60 days, I would move out. So uh, at this point, I was kind of in a predicament. Yes, uh, to say the least. So quite upset, you know, going back to the lender, like, how could you do this? You know, look at this situation. What are we going to do? And we went back to the seller, explained the situation. The seller said, you know what? They're sorry to hear that, but they expect us to close on time. They didn't want to cooperate. They didn't want to extend. Uh, we either had to close or cancel, which obviously after months of searching and finding the right property, uh, we didn't want to cancel. So we talked again with the lender, talked with the seller, see how we could come up with a compromise. And the lender really felt that, you know, within the 60 days they could get this deal done. So we went back to the seller said that the lender really feels that they can get this done. We asked them to put it in writing, which they did. We forwarded it over and the seller said they would only accept a 60 day extension if Chris agreed to forfeit his deposit if he doesn't close within that 60 days. Which again, getting reassurance from the lender that they could do it, we signed off and moved forward. So here we are uh, in the middle of that escrow and Lo and behold, the lender calls back again and says, oh, guess what? We've got this other program. Uh, we could have told you this before, but uh, this program is considered a conventional loan and you don't have to go through the whole qualifying process. Basically, we need to just review the documents, do an appraisal, and we can close in two weeks. Why didn't you tell us yeah. this before? <laughs> so uh, we said, let's go for it. Let's do it. We started that process and we have just finished the appraisal waiting for that to come back and now little uh guidelines are coming up where now they want to see if there's a refrigerator and chris has to buy a refrigerator or show a receipt that he's got a refrigerator things like this so it's still an ongoing adventure but it's getting there it is getting there but i'm i'm glad that things are coming to an end that i'm hoping that i will be able to move in by the holidays. <laughs> <laughs> that is the goal, to have this done hopefully before Thanksgiving or um, that before week Christmas of, day. yes. <laughs> but uh, we are getting there. It's looking very promising, but uh, it was an adventure to say the least. And hopefully it comes to an end and that way my whole house hunting experience will be a good story to tell on House Hunters. Hope to see you then. All right.